Marty, are you sure there's nothing wrong? Nothing wrong, really. Just, um... Something happened. With Dylan? No, no. Everything's perfect with Dylan. In fact, I... It sometimes scares me how close I came to losing everything I had with him. Okay, okay so if it has nothing to do with Dylan... Oh, uh, never mind. Um, none of my business. Look, if you need any help with anything, just ask, okay? Actually, um, there is something. When you were a cop, did you ever have anything to do with, um, an extradition case? Extradition? Marty, what is this about? Why are you interested in extradition? Do you know somebody who's being deported or something? It's not really something. It's, uh... I don't want to get you involved in my problem. No, hey, you got involved in mine. Come on. You posted bail when I got arrested. Remember, you believed in me. I can't forget that. Come on, Marty. Just tell me what is going on. It's just really complicated, and... You're a good friend of Dylan's, and... Uh, so it does have something to do with Dylan. In a way, but it... Marty, look. Anything you say here stays here. Okay? Okay. Thanks, because I really need to talk about okay. it. Well, when I was in Ireland, I met a man named Patrick Thornhart. I believed every word Patrick told me. I don't know how I could have been so gullible. Well, some guys pitch a good line. You know, I just gotten through telling off my Aunt Kiki. No more stealing from my trust fund. You know, it was... I was in charge. It was my life, and I was gonna live it. And then he shows up beside me, just out of nowhere, pitching me this wild story about how these men are chasing him and how he needs me. It's a complete stranger. You would think, after everything that had happened to me in the past couple of years, you'd think I'd be scared. I wasn't. It was all just so crazy. <sighs> I should have realized. I should have realized that I couldn't trust Patrick when he kept changing his story. I mean, one minute he was a physicist and the next he was a poetry professor. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. So after you helped him get away from the two guys who were chasing him, the two guys who were pretending to be cops, those two guys showed up again with another guy. They took us out. They took us outside at gunpoint. Oh, God. I know you have no idea how scared I was. Oh, no kidding. Well, then they, they put these black hoods over our heads. <sighs> And they took us to this um, ruin. It was like a Celtic church. Mm -hmm. And then it turns out that they were real cops, some kind of government agent or something. And they wanted to question Patrick. The worst part is how I got Todd involved. I um, asked him to help. And that's why he's dead. Oh, wait a second. Whoa, whoa. I, I thought Todd got killed in a car accident. According to Patrick, he got shot. But then again, who knows, right, with that liar? See, it still doesn't matter. Todd wouldn't have been in Inish Craig if it hadn't been for me. So after Patrick got here in this country at your place, you still believed him? Are you kidding? I helped him. After all, you can't have the cops catching him with good old gullible Saybrook around. I'd probably still be listening to his lies if I hadn't seen his photo in an Irish newspaper and read about how he... He had a long history of abusing his girlfriend. Oh, my God. Not only did he kill her, he killed one of the government agents that was questioning us. Oh, my God. So then you called the LPD? No, no, I still didn't know who to believe. So I called the innkeeper on Inish Craig. Right. He told me to call the cops and get out of there. Oh, my God. How could I have been so stupid? Oh, God. I'm oh, a lot of people get fooled, Marty. Well, he got away before the cops got there. And then, uh, he sent me this warning. A warning about what? It's about how I... It doesn't matter. See, uh, because the end finally came I went to see him in jail, and, um... You know what he told me? What? Oh. 
he told me Miles will finally tell me the truth, you know? And the truth was that uh, I was there. I was convenient. I was gullible. He needed help. And he used me. Well, finally something I could believe. Morty, are you sure there's not something else? What do you mean? I don't mean to pry. It just seems to me that... Well, I... You must have been pretty connected to this guy, Patrick, for him to have swept you up like that. Yeah, well... That's the part that's hard to talk about. It's none of my business. No, see, I'm... I want to explain it. It's just hard. I guess it just boils down to the fact that when I went to Ireland, I really felt that what Dylan and I had was over. I, I remember that. You were really, you were really upset. Yeah, when, when I got to Inishcraig and I, I had taken care of Aunt Kiki, I was strong. Oh. And I, I was kind of knocking down one fear after another. Fear of being alone, fear of dealing with strangers. Even the one when I was a little kid. See, because my parents drowned and I'd always had this fear of the sea and I even conquered that. Because you faced your own Kiki. I'm not sure. Maybe... Patrick? Could have fit him? Oh, yeah, uh, a little, maybe. Maybe a lot. It, uh, it's like it was magical, Ireland, you know, and I was feeling these new feelings. And getting to know Patrick, you know, and it all just kind of came together. So there's one night, um, I was feeling free. Can you understand? And quite frankly, I wish I could try not to be so perfect all the time and uh, just let go. Yeah, it was like... It was, it, was, it was like there was no time, there was no past. No future. Just no time. It was like a time outside of time. Mm. And then we made love. <laughs> And it was all a lie. I was just another stupid woman. Convenience. Don't let it get you up like this. I know, but it's amazing, isn't it? You know, you 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 think something so special, I know. wonderful. This this moment that you'll never forget. And in, at the same time, he's sitting there going, hmm, that "Could be my next move." be my next lie. No feelings, no... Nothing. Marty, don't do this to yourself. Don't. I can't help it. I... Because I... I think I'm just obsessing about it. Because I'm... I'm worried about Dylan. Tell him. Morty, when I came to Landview, I was... I was kind of jealous of you and Dylan. I know, I sensed that. But we've gotten to be really good friends, and I'm, I'm really... I'm really glad for you two. I've gotten to know him pretty well, and I know all about his wife and how she... She slept around on him. I know. I, I, hurt him a lot. Yeah, I'm just afraid that if you go and you tell him about this one night with Patrick, that he's going to be hurt all over again. I know, I thought about that, too. I mean, you, you didn't think that you were together with him. You weren't engaged or anything. You thought you had broken up. I mean, I would tell him about going to the jail cell. I'd tell him that because I think that it might hurt him if he found out from somebody else. But this other thing, I, 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 I don't think that you should... 
The last thing that I want to do is hurt Dylan. I know. But I don't know if I can carry around such a big lie. I mean, we just got engaged. I can't start a marriage with a lie. But it's I? not a lie. It's just something that you have to carry the burden of yourself instead of asking him to deal with it. I mean, look, it's, it's something in the past. I mean, you found out this guy used you. It's, it's over. But Dylan, you, you've got you've to focus on the future. Yeah, it's just... I'm so glad you were here. Oh, me too. It's okay. So, uh, are, are you going to go see Dylan now? Or? Yeah, I think I better do this before I think too much about it. Hey. Good luck. Extradite Patrick. <sighs> Did they have the death penalty there? No. They don't. <laughs> 